First tonight, we have some shocking video. An Orthodox Jewish man attacked in broad daylight. This happened in Crown Heights. The suspect seen right there swinging a tree branch is a teenager. The attack raising some concerns from the community and its leaders. News Rose Ray Vieta is live. He is in Crown Heights with more on this disturbing attack. Ray? Stacey, local leaders just held a news conference about an hour ago denouncing hate and denouncing this attack. The attack happened just about 24 hours ago when an Orthodox Jewish man is seen running through that door, running for cover, a suspect with a branch attacking him right behind him. Surveillance cameras rolling as an Orthodox Jewish man is seen running into a dry cleaners. You can see an African-American teenager behind him. Witnesses and police say he was beating the Jewish man with a tree branch. And all of a sudden this African-American came with the tree branch and started running towards him. So he ran all the way over here. Oh, he opened up the door. Surveillance video shows what it looked like on the inside as that man ran in looking for cover. The tree branch breaking on his back. Broke into like three pieces. And the other part that he threw ended up hitting me on my arm. Mendy Junik, working at his cleaners, didn't think twice, jumping into action. We ran out and chased us up to uh, Leopards Park and waited until uh, 911 showed up to do the rest. Cell phone video shows what happened once Junik and others in the community caught up to the teenager. Bystanders and witnesses holding down the suspect, waiting for police to arrive. The victim showing up soon after. He hid in the back of my store, and then once he calmed down, he came to the to the park just, you know, to give a report. The Anti-Defamation League and local leaders now concerned and speaking out. The attack, the second in two days. On Sunday morning, a Jewish man walking to a synagogue was beaten in Borough Park. That suspect arrested, too. Local leaders calling for unity in the face of apparent hate. We can't let the Jewish community... Uh, let this become normalized. And the, the community here in New York can't let this become normalized. Police tell me that earlier yesterday, just a few hours before the attack, that same teenager was arrested for stealing orange juice from a grocery store. He is now facing more serious charges, charged with a hate crime. We're live in Crown Heights this evening. I'm Ray Vieta, News 4 New York. All right, Ray, thank you.